Hi everyone, so today I have a BoxyCharm unboxing. This is the first time I've gotten their um, new packaging. It's, I, I think it's prettier. It's, black, it's just black and simple, but I like it. If you don't know what BoxyCharm is, just check the description out. I got some info down there below for you. This month is Gorgeous Globe Trotter, so it's like a postcard looking thing. Alright, the first thing that I pulled out is a So Susan Skincare Color Performance. I'm not sure, it's all packaged up. I'm gonna take it out. Okay, so it looks like this. Um, it's Statement Skin, a highlighting crown. This will be really pretty. Let's see. Look at that pretty sheen. I'm very excited to use this. I am in love with highlighters right now. Probably like six months ago, I didn't even know highlighters existed. Like, I got my first highlighter in Ipsy several months ago, and ever since I've seen like a lot of YouTubers talk about it, and especially now with like Jaclyn Hill and her Becca collaboration, highlighters have been all over the place, and I'm loving it. Like, I don't know about you, but I'm loving it. And that was full sized for $20, so that just paid for the box almost minus a dollar. Alright, I'll take the biggest thing out, the thing you're probably expecting most, is the Reveal 3 palette. So, I've been with BoxyCharm for a while, so I did get the Revealed 1 and the Revealed 2, so th this kind of just completes the collection. Um, I'm very happy about it. I don't need it, like, I have plenty of Coastal Sun Shadows in the Revealed 1 and 2, so it's not like a super necessary, exciting piece, but I'm, very, I'm not upset about it either. Um, if you are not familiar with the Coastal Sense brand, they are very, very affordable. And I think this retails for $20. Okay, so it retails for $40, but it's on sale for $20 almost all the time. It's definitely more vibrant. There's a lot more colors than the other palettes. The others were all very much nude. And the Reveal 2 had a lot more um, mauves coming in. Uh, rose golds and whatnot, and I feel like these are very much more directly purples. Not too shabby. I'll swatch like three of them for you. Okay, that was just one swatch. Oops, okay, it's kind of a gold, purple, and pink. They're very, very pigmented. No complaints. I enjoy these. So now I have this Neo Shield um, Leave In Conditioner. It also came with this like little side card, which I think just kind of tells you about the product. Um, and gives you a coupon. Okay. And it's just, the coupon is just BoxyCharm for $5 off your next order. So if you want that, I'll put it down below. So it's just a leave in conditioner. It has SPF in it. Um, it's with Moroccan Ar Argan Oil. I actually have really never used leave in conditioner. Or I don't use conditioner much in general. It looks like a good product, so I will more than happily try it out and use it. I've never heard of the Neos Shield brand. A leave in conditioner retails for $26. 26. I believe the next two kind of go together, but they are different brands. So first we have this little a brush, and it's a very, yeah. You know, it's by Seta, S-E-T-A, and it has a very like, very small brush. It's $16, so it, and it's supposed to be an eyeliner brush, so definitely different than this typical, like I think typically of angled eyeliner brushes or like a bent liner. So th this is like a good one, I guess, to try out the style from. Yay for trying new things. The last product is just kind of a staple. It's a the Mecca Beauty Gel Eyeliner. Retails for $35. I'm like, that's a little high, let's be honest. I think my Urban Decay one was cheaper than that. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to use this right away because I do have my Urban Decay one and... I don't know, if I know someone I can give it away to that would get more use out of it right away, then I will. Um, that's kind of the thing about subscription boxes that I don't like. I feel like they try to get products that you're going to like, and so they don't take risks as much, and so you all, so you end up with a bunch of nude, nude eyeshadows, black eyeliner, you know, all the basics. and. Um, so I kind of wish this was like in a collar or something fun so it would be something I for sure didn't have. Okay, I feel pretty good about this BoxyCharm overall. Um, the 
the So Season Highlighting Cream. That's probably what I'm most excited about to try. That's all I have for you. If you like this video, please like, comment, or subscribe, or all three. Greatly appreciate it. This was this is a good month. If I had to choose between BoxyCharm and Ipsy this month, I probably would choose BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm for the win. Okay. All right, bye.